Hey everybody, this is Andrew here from iDownload Blog. Today we're going to take a look at all the new enhancements to Siri inside of iOS 10. The big news here is that Apple has finally opened up Siri to developers with a new Siri API. Now, unfortunately, while that's great, there are some downsides. And the biggest one is that it is actually limited to only six major categories. So let's go through those categories and see what we can do. First up is VOIP calling. That means you can make those voice over internet or VoIP calls using any number of third party applications like Viber. So I can say Siri, call my aunt using Viber. Next up are workouts. You can now use third party applications to start workouts just by using Siri. So I could say, Siri, start my yoga meditation workout, or using Swerkit, start a seven minute workout session. And then you don't have to touch your phone if your hands are all sweaty. Uh, so it can be a really good benefit there if you don't have maybe an Apple watch. So car hailing is our third item that we can do. And this is probably going to be one of the most used. You can use any app that integrates with Siri like Uber or Lyft or Yo Taxi and just say, hey Siri, can you call me a Lyft? Hey Siri, can you call me an Uber? and they'll take care of all of that for you. It'll actually all work with inside of the Siri UI, so there'll be a really nice pop-up there that'll allow you to book your ride, set your location, pay using Apple Pay without ever having to jump into the application, so it's all really smooth and seamless. Next up is messaging. Now you can actually message using Siri and third-party applications. So if you use something like WhatsApp or WeChat, you can do those now from Siri. So I can just ask Siri to send a message. And when I do, I just append with WeChat or with WhatsApp. And we'll go ahead and send that text message, or I guess it's not necessarily a text message, but it does it all for you. Now we have photos in video searching. This works in two different locations. It works in your actual photos app. So I can say, hey Siri, show me some photos from San Francisco, and it'll take care of that. Or I could actually do it with third party applications. So anything that integrates with Siri, you'll be able to search for any photos and videos inside of those other applications as well. Now, I know I'm not actually using any third party applications at the moment because they do need it to be updated to work with Siri, but this is one of my favorite ones. I love just being able to say, hey, show me photos from last weekend, show me photos from Atwood, show me photos in San Francisco, and it does it for you. The last of the third party application usage is paying. This is really awesome because you can now pay people straight through Siri. So I can just ask Siri to send my brother $50 using Venmo or pay my coworker $10 using Square Cash. Any of those that I wanna do, it's really easy to do it straight here through Siri. So there are a lot of great options here. However, a lot are left out. There are no to-dos or reminders, and that's kind of a big deal. Now, all that aside, the other enhancement to Siri is the Siri predictions inside of QuickType. QuickType is that little keyboard, the little three lines that appear over top of your keyboard, and it provides suggestions. And it's getting a lot smarter. It can now do stuff like search contacts, your calendar, uh, predict availabilities, and a lot more. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a lot of these to work here in the first beta, but those will be coming soon. The updated applications, the new enhancements to Siri, and iOS 10 will all be available this fall with a public preview in July. Please subscribe and check out all of our other videos on Apple's new operating systems. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.